Hello friends, here in this video, we will see the definitions of absolute pressure, gauge pressure, vacuum pressure and for that purpose, we have a diagram here. Now, in this diagram, as we can see, here in this blue line, I have marked as atmospheric pressure. See, atmospheric pressure is the pressure of the atmosphere around us. Next, here this horizontal line, this indicates absolute vacuum. Like it is a space, complete vacuum means no pressure is exerted here. Suppose I am taking point A. At this point A, here if I am marking the pressure from absolute to vacuum, that would be called as absolute pressure. As we can see in this diagram, from the absolute vacuum up to point number A, if I am marking the pressure or if I am reading the pressure value, that becomes my absolute pressure because the vertical ordinate, the vertical axis indicates pressure. So, first of all, absolute pressure. Absolute pressure, it is the pressure measured from absolute vacuum. Because as we can see, absolute vacuum means zero, the pressure value is zero. And from that, if we are measuring the pressure up to the pressure which is above atmospheric, as we can see, atmospheric pressure is indicated by this blue line. So, if the pressure goes above the blue line, the pressure is above atmospheric. And if we are measuring with respect to the absolute vacuum, that is called as absolute pressure. Next is gauge pressure. See, gauge pressure is the pressure which we measure with the help of measuring instruments. So, it is the pressure measured with measuring instruments and here when we are measuring the gauge pressure, our reference is the atmospheric pressure. It means atmospheric pressure we will take it as zero and then we will start measuring the pressure because the measuring instruments which are used to measure the gauge pressure they have start they start from the zero reading and that zero reading indicates atmospheric pressure so gauge pressure it is the pressure measured with measuring instruments and it is above atmospheric pressure Next, we have vacuum pressure. See, vacuum pressure is the pressure as we can see it goes below the atmospheric pressure blue line. So, it is called as vacuum that is atmospheric pressure. Here, the vacuum pressure is less than atmospheric. So, I will write down vacuum pressure. It is the negative pressure or pressure measured below atmospheric pressure that is vacuum pressure and at last we have atmospheric pressure this is very simple it is the pressure in the surrounding atmosphere or we can say the pressure exerted by the air on the surroundings. So now as I have described in this diagram 
that absolute pressure is if we are measuring from absolute vacuum that is zero value of pressure and if i am reading like for example point number b the pressure is below atmospheric and if i am measuring with respect to absolute that would be called as absolute pressure or absolute vacuum because it is below atmospheric line if i am taking the reference as atmospheric pressure and and i am measuring the pressure of point b that would be called as vacuum pressure it is only vacuum pressure not absolute vacuum because it is not measured with respect to the zero line next point number a if i am measuring the pressure above atmospheric that would be called as gauge pressure and if my reference is absolute vacuum then that pressure would be called as absolute pressure so i hope in this video whatever i have explained regarding the types of pressure that is very much clear